Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Community Manager Megan O'Malley, and I'm joined by... Game Director Jay Parker. And today, we're here to talk about all the new and exciting things coming to Magic the Gathering Arena. This includes both Theros Beyond Death, as well as all the fun and exciting things we have planned for the year ahead. So first off, we've got uh, Theros releasing with this upcoming uh, update, uh, bringing us back to the world of Theros for Magic, but hitting it for the first time with Arena. In addition to the return of Elspeth, we'll also be having Saga's return, as well as Constellation and the new mechanic Escape. And we're bringing a lot of other fun things to Theros, like uh, the really cool Nyx frames, and uh, some additional treats that you'll find on the Theros battlefield. The full card preview should be just about up by now, so be sure to head over to magic.wizards.com for all the information about the latest card set. And for those of you who are curious about those Nyx lands, yes, they will be coming to Magic the Gathering Arena, but we'll have more information about that at a later date. Coming out with this update, we also have uh, Arena releasing on the Epic Game Store. So they'll be there for another way that you can download it, though of course you'll still be able to download it directly from us, as always. For those of you who would like to learn more, be sure to check out our full state of the game, which will have all the information for our current, as well as any new players for what this means for Magic the Gathering Arena. We have a number of other small tweaks with this build, as continuing on with some of the deck builder quality of life improvements that we had in our last release. We've got some nice updates there, like the ability to favorite decks and some improved sorting options. The ability to favor decks, as well as sort them by last played, were two of the most popular ones, and we're very excited to say that they'll be coming in this January update. In a similar vein, we're expanding out the collection view, adding new tags there. So any cards that you've newly acquired this session will be called out there for you. And when you open up a pack, it'll also call out if any of the cards in that pack were the first copy of that card that you've acquired. So it'll be a little bit easier to manage your growth of your collection as you uh, get new cards and open new packs. In addition to the new deck builder features, as well as Theros Beyond Death, we also have a lot more planned for Magic the Gathering Arena this year. So today, we'll also be updating the developer roadmap. So several things have moved around in this view of the roadmap. Uh, you can see Theros there on Coming Soon, as well as the Epic Game Store, and some of those deck builder quality of life features. On the in-development front, uh, we know that friends messaging is a really big request from players, and it's something that we're working actively towards, and expect to be able to release that uh, within the next couple of months for players. Now, I want to draw everybody's attention to the very last column of in concept because there's something new there that I know players have been asking about and asking about and I'm Jay tell us more about eight person drafting we know that uh, drafting with a bunch of other humans or with your friends is something that players have been really eagerly asking for something that we'd really like to get in the game as well and uh, very excited that we're now at a place where we're starting to talk about that a lot more internally and it's Looming close enough that uh, it's worth putting up there on the end concept section. Still a little ways before that's going to make it out to players. We'll be giving you more updates between now and then, but we'll be very excited to get that out. Okay. Another thing that I know players have been asking about is Pioneer, and we were talking about Pioneer remasters. That's right. So as we talked about uh, at the end of last year, uh, we are planning on uh, expanding beyond standard, and one of the ways that we're going to be reaching back to a lot of those Pioneer sets is with some remastered versions of that content so that we can give everybody uh, some cool, fresh, limited experiences and uh, some easy ways to acquire the key cards that you'll need to help build out strong Pioneer decks. Since we're planning to add all these new formats and new ways to play, there's another thing that we've added to the list which is going to be a rework of our Playblade. That's right. Obviously, as we expand out and we have more modes and more events available, we need to make sure that players have a really good way to see what's available at any time and get themselves to the event or uh, mode that they want to experience. So we're working on some updates to the Playblade to make that easier to navigate and easier to find what you're after. So everything that is listed in the in concept, the set that's currently being storyboarded, iterated on, uh, so it might take some time before you see it yourselves in Magic the Gathering Arena, but everything that's shown on this roadmap today is currently planned for some time in 2020. Obviously, plans can shift as we go, and we'll uh, come back every now and then and give you guys further updates on this roadmap and so that you're aware as those shifts occur. And reminder, just because you don't see something on the roadmap doesn't mean it's not coming to Magic the Gathering Arena. Yep, there's always things that we're talking about internally that we're not quite ready to talk about publicly. Need to let them bake a little bit more or figure out exactly how we're going to attack those problems. But rest assured, there's a lot of cool and interesting things that are coming soon. So we're really excited about the roadmap that we have in store for 2020, uh, and we hope players are excited as well. 
Uh, as for the upcoming January update, Megan, when are players going to be able to play that? All right, so the Theros Beyond Death will be available on January 16th, so be sure to head over to our status page for the latest information on maintenance times. And if January 16th is just a little bit too far away for you, be sure to tune into our Early Access event, where you can watch some of your favorite streamers and content producers give you a first look at Theros Beyond Death on Magic Arena. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in game.